Let this be a normal field trip with a friend? No way! Oh. Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you're seeing. <laughs> Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a nap at your intestine, pick your second right past Mars on the magic school bus. Alligator nostril, climb on the magic school bus. Make a plane turn to the magic school bus. Magic school bus. Rock the river of lava <laughs> on the magic school bus. Such a fine thing to do. <laughs> so strap your bones right to the seat. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie on a magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, right on the magic school bus. How come rainbows are red on the outside and violet on the inside? Combination. Look, first red, then orange, yellow, green, blue, and then violet. Beautiful. Yeah, but why are they always like that? It's because the colors of a rainbow come out according to the length of the light waves. I'll show you. Red is the longest wavelength, and violet the shortest. Huh? huh? Hey, Arnold, since when do you know so much about color? Since always. Rocks and color are my two favorite things. And my rainbow is going to be everybody's favorite thing. What rainbow, Carlos? You need color to make a rainbow, not candy wrappers and flashlights. But the candy wrappers color the light. Dream on, Carlos. Color is color and light is light. Like you and me, they have nothing in common. Says who? Says me. <laughs> This could get ugly. Dorothy Ann thinks she knows everything. Well, red cellophane over white light gives me red light. Now, if that's not cool, I don't know what is. Ah! What happened to my painting? It turned red. Carlos, you ruined it. No, I didn't. It looks better this way. But according to my research, rainbows are supposed to look like this. Come on, Dorothy Ann. Why do you have to do everything by the book? And where did you get this book anyways? It's purple. Who ever heard of a purple book? It's not purple. It's violet. Purple, violet? Come on, lighten up. Fine. No problem. That lightened things up a lot, don't you think? What's that noise? Let's check it out. Come on, you Weasley wimps. Wanda, we can't go in there. It's Miss Frizzle's closet. Oh, be brave, Arnold. What if Miss Frizzle needs us? Frizzle's a pinball wizard. Come on, come on. Just a little more twist. Oh, my goodness! Yeah. It looks like you're making a rainbow, too. I'm trying, Dorothy Ann. Just one more color to go. Wish me luck. Roses are red, apples are too. To finish the rainbow, I need some blue. <laughs> Into the mirror and off! Whoa! Look at that light go! Fish! Fish! Get that blue fish! Yes! No. No, 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 no! I miss the blue eye. I'll never make the rainbow. Man, I've never seen a pinball game like this one before. Oh, thank you, Ralphie. I made it myself. You made this? With Liz's glowing guidance, of course. As you can see, the game's played with white light instead of steel balls. White light? That's right, Phoebe. White light is just another name for normal everyday light. 
By activating the panoramic pulse pumper, you send a burst of white light into the machine and try to make a rainbow with it. Hold it. Back up. Rainbows are all different colors. How can you make a rainbow out of white light? That's a fantastic question, Keisha. I've got one more game to try. I bet someone I could light up all six colors of the rainbow. If I win, we keep the machine. And if you lose? This machine that Liz and I built will be taken away. Excuse me for a moment. I told you she needs us. Maybe we can help, Miss Frizzle. I don't see how you can help, Carlos. This game is all about color. And you know nothing about color, remember? So? I know about light, and you play with light pulses. Yeah, but you need to get the colors of the rainbow. So you need color, not light. Light! Color! Hold it! As my great-great-uncle Lincoln Douglas used to say, It's not whether you're right or wrong that counts, but how you play the pinball game. To the bus! Miss Frizzle? I'm, uh, I'm not quite finished making my rock rainbow, so I was wondering if maybe I could possibly, you know, uh, stay here? Stay here? Of course you can, Arnold. Buckle up, class, and prepare for a colorful experience. Take him away, Liz. <laughs> Arnold! She gets weirder all the time. Miss Frizzle, what's the deal? We're going to play some serious pinball, Carlos, and you and Dorothy Ann are in charge. Me? In charge with him? I'm not sure that's a good idea. Take him in, Liz! <laughs> Did I just see what I thought I saw? Arnold, you saw the light. Wow, check it out. I can't believe it. We're actually inside the pinball machine. Is it just me, or are we supposed to play the game from in here? Now listen carefully, class. See the scoreboard? In each game, you get six light pulses to light up the six colors of the rainbow. So we've got to get light to bounce into one of those eye holes every time you send a light pulse up the chute? Correct! Did you get that out of your purple book? No, Carlos, and it's Violet. Whatever. Okay, everyone, spread out. Spread out? We don't even know how to play the game yet. The best way to know is to do. So keep your eyes on the prize, class. Have lots of fun with Light Pulse number one. <laughs> lights came out of nowhere fast that's as slow as i could get the light to go inside the game real light travels much too fast to see it do anything but where did all the colors come from you won't believe it till you see it look up there here's a slow-mo instant replay coming at you hey the white light went up the chute and bounced off a mirror then it went through that prism and came out all the colors of the rainbow. In case you didn't see, Dorothy Ann, that was colored light that came out of the prism, as in light that has different colors. Yeah? Well, I saw that we didn't score. Oh, and I almost forgot. You only score when the same color light gets into the same colored eye. Blue into blue, red into red. Oh, isn't this exciting? Seems to me you've got to keep the colored light bouncing off things until it hits the right colored eye and scores. Easier said than done, Arn. Not if we think. We saw the white light bounce off that mirror before it hit the prism. So maybe if the red light hits this mirror, we can bounce it into the red eye. But Miss Frizzle, do you really think we should be playing pinball in school? I mean, what would the principal say? Mr. Rule? Oh, you don't need to worry about him. I need to worry about everything. Do you want to send this pulse up the chute, Arnold? Me? What? Miss Frizzle! Oh. oh dear, is it that time already? Wait here. Oh no. 
It's Mr. Rule. Miss Frizzle, what do we do? Oh, he's early. Would you mind entertaining him for a few minutes? Me? Come on, Arnold. Just think of what'll happen if he sees us like this. Uh, um, hi, Mr. Rule. Good morning, Arnold. Um, where's Miss Frizzle? Well, uh, not too far away, sir. Hmm. I trust she'll be back soon. Oh, yes. Very soon. I think. Well, I'm early, so I'll wait. Um, you will? I mean, great! Okay, class. Ready, Miss Rizzle? Light number two coming at you. Wait! Maybe it will bounce off this! Now the viewer! We got the red light in the red eye! Ding! Ding, ding, ding! Ding, ding, ding! Is something wrong, son? No, sir. Ding! I'm fine, sir. Ding, ding, ding! Then why are you, uh, dinging? I don't know. I, uh, ding! Sometimes I just feel... Ding! Ding! Ding, ding! Enough, Arnold. What's taking Miss Frizzle so long? Well, uh, I know she was helping Dorothy Ann with some light research. Oh, then perhaps she's in the library. Good idea, Mr. Rule. Let's go look in the library. Good work, Arnold. Okay, class, let's get down to business. All right, Miss Frizzle. Did you see how the red light bounced off this red tomato? And then it hit the mirror. And then it bounced home. Bullseye. Do you think we can do the same thing with orange? Light pulse number three, going up the tree. <laughs> light disappeared. How come? And the green light keeps going. Well done, class. You careened the green. But weren't you going for the orange? Admit it, Dorothy Ann. You made a mistake. A mistake? Why, there's no such thing as a mistake. Thank you, Miss Frizzle. Okay, so you lucked out with the green. But what happened to the orange light? As my friend Opportunity used to say, if at first you don't succeed, find out why. Play it again, Sam. The orange light bounced off the mirror, hit the green shamrock, and disappeared. Okay, but the green light bounced off the same green shamrock and didn't disappear. It went into the green eye. Score! Hmm. Green light, green shamrock, green eye. Miss Frizzle? When we see something green, is it by any chance because it's green light that enters our eyes? It is indeed, Dorothy Ann. You've just said an eyeful. Let me get this straight. So when green light bounces off something green, like the shamrock, and into our eyes, we see green. But when the orange light hit the green shamrock, it disappeared. A radiant summation, Carlos. Time for some more panoramic pinball pulse pumping. Just a second, Miss Frizzle. Come here, guys. We've only got three chances left to make the rest of the rainbow. So we need to sink two at once, or we're sunk. How about orange and blue? They look nice together. Orange and blue it is. And remember, to bounce the light, you have to use something with the same color as the light. Too bad we don't have more orange and blue things to bounce the lights with. I see something blue. What? My sweatshirt? It's blue, isn't it? Which means if you stand here and the blue light comes this way, it'll bounce off you and into the blue eye. But let her rip, Miss Frizzle. Boss number four out the door. Orange light to orange fruit. Yay, orange story. Yahoo! Look out for the blue! Uh oh! Hey, where'd it go? The blue light just disappeared. The yellow bus gobbled up that blue light like it was a jelly bean. I 
I told you, Carlos. You need something blue to bounce blue light. Is that more information from your purple book? No, I know it because I saw it. And for the last time, it's violet! So you see, Mr. Rule, a blue fish is blue because it bounces only blue light, which we see when it reaches our eyes. Do you suppose if Miss Frizzle were all blue? Arnold, Miss Frizzle is not blue, and she's not in this library. Sorry, I missed my snack. Good thinking, Arnold. Maybe she's in the cafeteria. And maybe I'm in trouble. Four pulses, three colors in the rainbow? A glowing accomplishment. Keep this up, class, and this machine will be ours. All ours. Unless Mr. Rule suspends us from school for the rest of our lives. Yeah, we gotta hurry. Okay, what's the plan? Well, we only need three more colors. Yellow, blue, and violet. But don't forget, we only have two light pulses left. Well, try blue. Okay, but let's try to get yellow, too. And this time, we'll try to bounce the yellow light off the yellow bus. Pulse number five, ready to jive. Miss Frizzle isn't here either. Isn't that amazing? You know, what's amazing, Arnold, is that you know so much about color and so little about where Miss Frizzle is. We're going back to your classroom now. Man your battle stations! Excuse me, don't you mean person your color stations? Just do it, Dorothyan, okay? We only have purple to go and we win the game. Okay, Miss Frizzle, fire away! Last light in sight! It's rainbow time! <laughs> Dorothy Ann, it's coming right at you! <laughs> Yay! We made the rainbow! We got to keep the game! And all because of your purple book. <laughs> Violet, Carlos! Thanks to you, class, we get to keep the game to the bus. Okay, Liz, let's get out of here. Ouch! Hey, Liz, try going up. Oh, bad, oh, bad, oh, bad, bad, bad. We can't get out. We're going to be pinball kids forever. Sorry I couldn't have been more help, Mr. Rule. Uh, here, let me get the door. How about the nurse's office? Want to try the nurse's office? No, thank you, Arnold. I feel fine. Miss Frizzle? Oi, what am I going to do? Miss Frizzle, are you in there? It's Mr. Rule. Oh, don't worry, class. Back in a flash. Now what? Good morning, Mr. Rule. I told you she'd be back soon. When we have time, Arnold, we will discuss the meaning of the word soon. Arnold, I think I left my color notes in the closet. See if you can get them out, okay? Um, yes, Miss Frizzle. Right away. Guys, what's going on in there? We can't get out. Ouch. You know... He got in there by turning into light. Maybe that's the only way out. Hey, Arnold, you're a genius. We got in as light. We'll get out as light. Liz, you've got to turn the bus into light again. We're out of control! Look out, Liz! The prison split us into six colors of light. We're a living rainbow. Now how do we get out of here? If Liz turns us back into light, we can just beam out of here. That's true, Tim. But then there will...
there will still be six of you. Cool. Then I can be my own basketball team. Ralphie! Dorothy Ann, isn't there anything in your book? Wait a minute. If the prism splits white light into colors, what would happen if we all went backwards through the prism? Maybe we get mixed back together. Go back through the prism? Sounds like a plan to me. Okay, all you lizards, listen up. When I, er, we, count to three. I'll hit the flipper and flip you all backwards towards the prism. And then you turn us back into light. Got it? Ready, gang? Here we go. One, two, three! Arnold, the door! We're out of here! What was that? I let your color notes out, Miss Frizzle. Why, thank you, Arnold. Let them out? What's that supposed to mean, hmm? We figured it out, Miss Frizzle. All the colors of the rainbow are hidden in ordinary light. And you can use the prism to separate them out. And when you mix the colors of light back together, you get ordinary light again. Which means white light is just filled with color. So that's where color comes from. From light. Speaking about color and light, did you, um, make the rainbow? Because if you didn't, the pinball machine is mine. All mine. <laughs> He's the one who gets the machine? So, did you make the rainbow or not? As a matter of fact, I didn't. What a shame. <laughs> we all did it. I couldn't have done it without the help of my Blue Ribbon students. You mean, I can't have the pinball machine? Nope, but you can come here and play it whenever you want. Really? Can I play it now? Absolutely. Oh, thank you, Miss Frizzle. <laughs> I guess I owe you an apology, Carlos. Colors do come from light. I knew that. Well, I do now. You know, that ruins your painting because there's only red light shining on it. There. Now I've given you all your colors back. Including purple? Violet, Dorothy Ann. Violet. <laughs> Is this the magic school bus? Is this the magic school bus? 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 Hey, Magic School Bus. Producer speaking. Hey, I loved your show on color, but there's no way you can have a light pinball machine like the one you showed. Light travels way too fast. Okay, so we fudged it a little. But if we didn't slow down the light, you wouldn't be able to see it move. But I'm still not sure about that bit with Carlos putting the colored candy wrapper over his flashlight. Does that really work? Of course it works. Transparent things like candy wrappers and theater gels act just like gates. They let their own color of light through and block off all the other colors. Wow, that's really cool. I'm going to try that myself. Bye. Hey, thanks for calling. <laughs> Magic School Bus, your iridescent leader here. Hi. With all that talk about light and color, you never did answer Keisha's question about how the prism makes a rainbow of light. Ah, you're right. I'll go to super slow-mo and show you just how it works. When light travels through glass, it slows down just a little bit. Not this slow, of course, but slow enough so that the colors of light bend. Some more than others, depending on their color. The bending action is what spreads the colors out and into a rainbow. Got it? Now that's awesome. By the way, I've made a rainbow with my garden hose, but I thought I saw more colors in the rainbow. How come you only showed six? <laughs> right again. A rainbow contains all the colors from red to violet, but we just showed the six that most people see. And you know, I bet you could make a pinball machine using light. You think so? Sure. Take a really powerful laser, place a light beam up a chute, and bounce it into the targets. What do you think? <laughs> I think you're right. Thanks for calling. 
Liz, this is way cool. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie on a magic scuba. Step inside, it's a wilder. 